Mr. Olson, the results of the second quarter 2016 are slightly better than market expectations. Where do you see the most important reasons for this performance? Yes, I'm pleased with the results. We, you see the results of our pricing actions that we've taken. You see the results of the synergies coming through to the bottom line and our cost containment measures. And we're very pleased with the results in Q2. With the sale of some cement plants in Vietnam, China, Sri Lanka and India, Lafarge uh, Holzem has already achieved its divestment targets of 3.5 billion Swiss francs. So what comes next in your deleveraging program? Yeah, we're pleased to have completed the 3.5 billion of divestments already in the first seven months of the year is a great success. Uh, we did it under excellent conditions and uh, we see more opportunity uh, as we go through, but we're giving ourselves till the end of 2017 to ensure that we get, can get maximum value for those assets. We're extending the program to 5 billion through the end of 2017. Separate to regions, in which market is Le Lafarge Holzem well on track and where do you see further potential improvements? Well, we're, we're tracking well uh, in most regions and you see in Q2, in fact, all regions except for Middle East Africa, you see our earnings progression. Uh, the market in India is delivering particularly well in our strategies. We see good earnings growth uh, in North America, in places like Mexico and some markets in, in uh, South America, we see strength. Uh, and we're, uh, as we identified in the press release today, uh, Nigeria is a market of concern where we've suffered from gas shortages, but we're making investments to convert our plants to other fuel sources. And by the end of the year, uh, those challenges should be behind us. Lafarge Holzem shares have recovered from its low level in February. After the Brexit decision, there was a slight decrease of the share price. So how important is the impact of the Brexit to your company? Well, Bre uh, the UK is an important market for us, and, but we're in a local business and we have long-standing uh, position in the UK and long-term contracts. Uh, we're watching the situation closely and we have seen some softness in recent months. So we'll continue to monitor the situation closely, but we're confident in our long-term position that we have in the UK. Um, what do you expect for the second half year concerning your EBITDA targets? Well, we've given uh, so guidance to say that we expect our EBITDA for the year to be up in the high single digits on a like-for-like -like, uh, basis. So we're, that's what our expectation would be, that we would deliver in the second half uh, sufficient EBITDA to uh, be at overall for the year uh, up in high single digits in EBITDA.